water peeps i'm melanie florence from miss melly flows vibe life this is my youtube channel please hit like and subscribe i have been reading tarot the greenwood tarot for 25 years i decided to start this a few months ago i've got a couple of pages on facebook uh hot tea for the soul miss melly flow uh it'd be great if you join so i do uh lives for new moon on that channel and so on that channel because i can't do them here till you get enough subscribers stuff right so i am doing today's reading with a different deck i'm not doing it with the green wood i'm doing it with the archer types deck right it's a really different deck and it's really it's modern it's to so different to mine and the readings are really interesting so um been really interesting the last two if you've got air elements please check out the air you might and the and the fire but here's the water so uh, i am going to start with a couple of cards from a couple of different decks charge my hands all right, so and I'm going to start with the uh, Earth Magic. It's an Earth Magic deck. Oh, one out already. There we are. Oh, this week we've got love and compassion. So, my water peeps, start with your loving heart. Like, here we are, and it's loving connections with people and our compassion and reaching it out, playing it forward, making loving connections and, and reaching out to people. Perfect. Ooh, like that earth magic look what you got all right so next up i'm gonna pull a card from the work your light deck there it is already get grounded all right so it's time to get a bit earthy get a bit grounded connected to your to your to your root chakra all right what have we got there empaths highly sensitive connect with nature all right get out there dig in the garden Mm. Okay, so <coughs> I'm also going to give you one out of the Heart and Soul deck because I'm going to love it. Okay. 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 No. You are focusing purely on the negative, but there is also a positive side that you are not seeing. Your mental attitudes and thought can make things good or bad, beautiful or ugly. All is a matter of perception. What do you think? Shall you become positive? What you what you think you shall become? Be positive, for behind the in the perceived darkness there is much love and light and good fortune. All right. So guys, that's sort of saying a heavy heart and then it's sort of saying, you know, if you've been disconnected with people, it's time to reach out. And you know what? People forget and we're in such a modern day and age, you can actually get on video phone and contact and talk to peeps and talk to your person in person. And it's a real good time like, to do this and reconnect and ground and earth with earth with your people. Uh, and reach out, reach out for love. If you're, you know, this year has been really hard and even when things were bad, I've tried to, even if it's sitting at the bottom of the glass, look at it as half full. It's that sitting in the gutter, looking at the stars thing. Um, there's love in the world, look for it. If we look for it and we play it forward, this is a bit of a playing forward card. I can see that you guys are playing forward to love this month, this week. All right, so I'm gonna use the archetype decks. And so I'm gonna do the reading I've been doing for YouTube. And this is five, five for how we got here, four for your healing element, three for uh, how you're gonna apply it to the practical world, two for your partnerships, and one for self-love. How are you gonna self-love in all of this? All right, so let's go. Oh, that's a fairy deck. Should I do one from the fairy deck for you? Of course I should now that you've seen it. The air people pulled out fairy for their like um, earth magic. Was well, earth magic, like the fairy connecting to it. And so I got it out for them, but now I've got to give it to you because I can't have it on the deck and I'll give it to you. One part card, please, for the water peeps. For the weekly hot tea. All right, I have, ooh, weekly hot tea. Who have we got? The Yule Singer, Rebirth and Festive Joy. This is definitely playing it forward card. All right, so it's sort of a midwinter sort of feel, but she's there to, you know, rebirth and sing your song and sing your tune and really join into it. All right, feasting and joy. I hope you're out there having a feast, people. <coughs> All right, so five cards for how we got here. Let's go. These have been really deep, these, so let's go. Let's see what we got. The last one was intense for the air people. Oh, guess 
love her. It's the poet. Ah, so this is the lover inside of ourselves. This is the moon. This is the ideas, how we express our love, how we express the poet, how we express the moon. All right, so if you're a bit of a writer, this is a great place to say that you've been in touch with this loving feeling and connecting with your... And writing it down is really important. Writing it down. Connect with it. All right. Oh, I need to move this over just a bit. So you can see it a lot more. sirens all right water people so this is a really singing your love song this is really singing it out there you know calling calling your love heart calling your lover this is the siren is a you know that deep connection to to an older to an older might be a very aquarian feel if you an aquarian a very um atlantis sort of feel inside of there but this is a real deep dive deep dive inside of you but there's a heart stone in there that red earthy again we're connecting with our our root chakra just there get grounded inside of that your siren all right that is good all right so we came to a dead end somewhere in something and maybe you feel like you've been you know going down dead ends and this is a little bit frustrating and there's been some stop signs here and stop signs there we've got hands out reached a bit in here no, but stop there. Okay, so it's been a bit of a dead end and a stop sign in the middle of all of what's been going on. <coughs> Different path. Okay, so ooh, ooh, ooh. Next card, how we got here. There's a bridge, there's a rainbow bridge. So this is friendships. So there's not a dead end. This was a twist. There was a bridge that you needed to mend. There's been something you might need to get over. Look at the reflection of the emotions, the friction on the water, on the river. You know, so we're really talking about emotionally. There was a spot that you needed to, to work through and, and build your rainbow bridge to get over. Oh, interesting. Hands, hands outstretched again. Hands outstretched, it's this love. It's this love and compassion. The hands are outstretched again. All right, I find this interesting. Okay. Oh, bend, these ones are a bit bendy. Okay, one more for how we got here. One more, come on. that one thread so you've been connecting and so this thread you're connecting yourself again where there's our rainbow there where's our rainbow there are connecting this is the thread that you've been connected to forever and maybe you feel like you've been holding on to a thread but you are connected to it through all the darkness you're connected to the light inside of here that poet inside of your heart excellent all right so this is the healing element a mentor look at this so, you got like an old wise owl coming into your life. This is somebody with wisdom. This is somebody with, um, that's going to give you some keys. This is somebody who is going to, you know, make you see, you know, deeper into different things and stuff and bring you some warmth in your spirit and your heart and your spirit and your faith and your passion. So a mentor is coming your way to the poet and to the siren. Ooh. All right. Find the joy. Here, all right, healing. Animal Monday, Animal Monday, Animal Monday. Oh, this is a strong place, Animal Monday. So this is really connecting to again your root and your chakra, and you see some signs and symbols inside of all of this. And this is the radiation of our pebble. So this is the radiation when we throw a pebble in, it has all these ripples and stuff, and we have this radiation of what's around us. You know, our planets, our nativity, where everything sits inside of our cosmic realm. You know, that we are part of that I am, this animal Monday. Like, you are part of that I am, and it's all inside of us. This is a meditative card. This is another learning card. You see the light in the dark, the moon shining, the sun shining inside of that. All our planets, all our nativity. So taking time inside of that process to find your light and find it inside of you, inside of meditation and, and healing. And really working out how to balance all of that out together. Okay, water peeps. 
big card. Ah. And there we have the animal. So this is really connecting. So this is getting grounded. So, yeah, you know, connecting with nature. This is again and again, this is saying, you know, you've built bridges and when you've, you've come to this and you've held on, and these rainbows appear and we've got rainbows in some of these animal Monday. These are all connected together. So it's connecting your spiritual world with your physical world and really taking on your beast, your animal, I guess. Okay. Water. One more for it. your healing element. The star ball. All right. So this you're going to come in cost again. You've got a mentor, but this is also you, the mentor. This is growth. This is rebirth. This is you know breaking open from an egg. You can see that cosmic light around you, like a lot of color inside of that. So this healing element is breaking through. You might find that you're ascending. You know, but this is a star born. You're going to feel connected to the stars. You're going to feel connected to it all, like and and the cosmic, and the cosmic I am. Okay, three cards for your. How we're going to apply this to the world? Oh, we got a castle. So this is a place of protection, and this is a place where you can and hermit, and you can be yourself, and you can. Pull back from the world and your castle and build your castle with your pearls. So these are pearls of wisdom, these are your strength. Alright. Alright, water peeps. Look at that. This beautiful rose, this beautiful, it's a material. This is a material new beginning. Mm. Okay. Build your castle with your pearls, my love. Alright, and we have the village. Alright, the village in the mountain. Look at that. And so we are part of the village. You know, you got, might have the castle on the mountain, but you were part of a village. So this is connecting with people and connecting with people around you that might have, you know, like like influences, but really meeting your village. And, and it's a village that raises a child, you know, connecting with the people around you and really sharing this, this connection that you've got. And it's a nice round circle inside of it. You can see that, that hoop, it's a nice round circle inside of that under the mountain that's strength of the village all right one more for how we're going to apply it to the world there it is the mystic so not surprisingly so the moth is a very mystical and that implies you know intuition and the strength of that connection to the to the this thread that you have and this thread is always going to be there you know you've really been working and you have a mentor that is going to be in your life and the star born and you're going to work together inside of this you know build your castle with the village this is excellent so the mystic is going to appear and this is a strength this is a strength inside of your character all right team deep inside of you wonderful all right water peeps two for partnerships one for self-love let's go let's see all right there it is let's see the time of reflection you might meet somebody who reflects yourself and you're going to be able to learn things deep down inside of you from that person this is also a time when we sit and we look at ourselves with this moon with a reflection we're sort of still looking at the things that have gone on and still looking at our emotional connections but we're out without the direct light you can sort of look at yourself and focus in a different way and it's like the hanging man card this is like that card that you you know that you're looking at yourself in the mirror this may come in a different person in your partnerships maybe like uh, and, and being able to reflect between people or mirror but or you might find that you people are mirroring mirroring what you're at all right so one more for your partnerships Ooh, the sword the sword is communication always the sword is of justice the sword is about your light and your dark and how you use this power of that lightning you know there's a change in here your moon your sun there's a yin yang inside of this card in the balance of it you know so this is a you know this is a talking spot and maybe cutting through some of the stuff there's you might be yeah, the Excalibur that something's picked up inside of here with the mystic inside of here and the mentor appearing you know there's a big movement inside of this card all right one for self-love one for self-love what a peeps one for self-love what have we got the wing all right 
that Starborn egg womb. Great nutritious place to be inside of here. All right, love and compassion. We've built a bridge, we've got over it. That siren may have called in who you were looking for. There's a real connection inside of all of this and there's a deep spot here to grow. And it's really fertile inside of all of this. So, what a week. What a wonderful week. All right, this year has been big, what a peeps. I really hope that you are safe and well. If you're after a personal reading, please hit me up on my Facebook page, Miss Melly Flo. I really hope you're well. And I uh, yeah, hope you have a great week.